इलाज करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो उसका रिजल्ट कोई अच्छा नहीं आएगा मेरी बात पर गौर कीजिएगा अगर आप एक बहुत अच्छी आइडियल एंटीबायोटिक्स के साथ टीबी का इलाज करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो उसका रिजल्ट अच्छा नहीं होगा यानी बहुत अच्छा रिजल्ट नहीं आएगा और बीमारी मुकम्मल तौर पर खत्म नहीं हो सुप्रेस हो जाएगी कम हो जाएगी खत्म नहीं होगी रीजन सुन लीजिए इसकी क्या है कि यहाँ पे हम सिर्फ ये देख रहे हैं कि ऐसी मेडिसिन जो ओवरऑल बहुत सी बीमारियों को कंट्रोल कर सकती है लेकिन याद रखें देर आर सम स्पेसिफिक डिजीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेप्रोसी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्यूबर क्लोसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल डिफ्थीरिया एंड देर सम अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैनिजोकोकल मैनिजाइटिस एंड सो ऑन दीज आर सम डिजीज विच आर कास्ट एट स्पेसिफिक लोकेशन बाई सम स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गेनिजम एंड वी नीड स्पेसिफिक एंड मेडिसिन विच आर स्पेशली मेड फॉर दीज डिजीज आई एम गोइंग टू गिव एन एग्जाम्पल दिस डेज Myron P. It is actually combination of some drugs. Myron P. is combination of some drugs. There are some uh, other uh, medicine also which are used to treat uh, tuberculosis. There are some specific medicines which are specifically designed only to treat tuberculosis. I have given just one example, and that example is for a narrow spectrum antibiotic. I am given example of a. narrow spectrum antibiotic while here uh, in the topic which we are discussing it is concerned with that antibiotic should be or antimicrobial agent should be broad spectrum it should kill many organisms uh, i am sure you have understood what is my point remember it second point solubility 
the dirk must be soluble in water or other solvents so that it may be used effectively uh, i am sure all of you know that most of medicine are taken with water while some medicine may be taken with uh, milk tea or uh, in uh, some other cases uh, yes. water solubility is very important medicine must be soluble in water next third heading is stability it should be stable when we take a medicine it uh, reaches stomach i'm sure all of you know that stomach contains hcl which is highly uh corrosive agent uh, with very low ph and the medicine or antibiotic must be stable in stomach if that doesn't remain stable then that would not be effective point number four non-toxic to humans or other animals antibiotic or drug which we are using to treat uh, a disease must not be toxic for human being or animals if it has some toxic properties uh, then it is not a good or ideal antibiotic i'm sure all of you know remember there are different side effects of different medicines and if side effects are prolonged and are drastic, then that medicine is not considered a good medicine. But point number five is homogeneity. Homogeneous, I'm sure all of you know, uniformity. Uh, medicine should be uniformly composed and uh, all parts of it must be having same concentration. For example, you are taking a medicine in a capsule it contains some non-medical portions also, but uh, the concentration of drugs should be uniform so that it affects uniformly wherever it is applied. Uh, and, and if it is a mixture, then the both or two or more, uh, how many medicines are present in it, they must be homogeneously uh, mixed so that they should be properly effective in treatment of a disease. Point number six is non-combination with extraneous organic material. It is something uh, to be uh, very important for some persons who are not familiar for, uh, uh, with the mode affection of drugs. First of all, look at the word many disinfectants. Uh, you should note that disinfectants are usually not used as medicine remember most disinfectants are not used as internal medicine you must remember this point they have affinity for proteins or other organ material and if they are taken inside in oral um, as an oral medicine they will affect the living cells human being or any other animal to which they are given hence uh, if antibiotic is of such a nature or antibiotic agent is of such a nature that it harms the cells, living cells, human cells, then it is not an ideal. Next heading is toxicity to microorganisms at room or body temperature. Uh, all the patients which are to be treated are mostly human beings or mammals or birds. They have high body temperature which is approximately 37 degrees Celsius. The medicine which you are using must be effective at this temperature. If it is effective at lower temperature or higher temperature, then it is not suitable for treatment of uh, human beings or mammals. The next heading is capacity to penetrate. The medicine should be soluble in water or uh, the cytoplasm or extracellular fluid so that it easily penetrates the cells otherwise if it is not absorbed in the cell it would not be effectively controlling the disease the next heading is point number nine is non-corroding and non-staining if antibiotic or the medicine is corrosive that grows corrosive in uh, having action just like in acid or strong base. Acid and strong base, if applied to skin or uh, some living thing, they corrode or damage uh, the part. Uh, it is why they cannot be or they should not be used. But uh, most antibiotics are not corrosive in nature, and hence they are. Second is non-staining. Uh, 
if applied externally, they should not stain. But there are some other medicine which stain, e.g., Arden solution stains skin yellowish to orange. Similarly, bromine also stains the skin, but they are not antibiotic in the true sense. They are antimicrobial in general. Next heading, heading number 10 is deodorizing ability. I'm sure all of you know what is de, uh, what is odor? Do you know what is odor? You have studied this term in chemistry also. What is odor? No answer. Smell. Specifically, bad smell. D is to remove. To remove bad smell. I'm sure you know something about this, that uh, uh, if you visit a hospital, you may feel some bad smell there. Different patients emit different types of smell. Uh, this may be... Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to give an example, a specific example. I'm sure... I, Someone of you know what is gangrene? Do you know something about gangrene? Anyone who can tell me something about what is a gangrene? No response? None of you know what is a gangrene? I'm going to pinpoint uh, a type of gangrene and that is gas gangrene. You studied it uh, slightly in semester 7. Okay. Uh, gangrenes are very dangerous diseases. They affect this uh, from outside uh, on the skin. Mostly feet and legs are uh, infected by some bacteria. Uh, they emit very fetid smell, very bad smell. When you use antibiotic, which kills microorganisms at the same time, uh, the bad smell is removed due to deodorizing effects of the agent. Next heading is detergent capacities. Uh, cleaning agents, uh, surfactants, you have studied all these terms already. Uh, this is not applicable to most uh, antibiotics, but uh, it is possible for some other drugs to have detergent, uh, uh, detergent action. Next heading is availability. It should be available. I am sure you remember a topic which we studied in semester 7 about uh, availability of penicillin. When the first clinical trial was in progress, very small amount of penicillin was, was available and uh, the soldier which was being treated was improved for 4 to 5 days but later on the penicillin stock was end, at an end and the patient could not survive. Uh, these days, it's not the case, but uh, in Pakistan, you know, anything can happen and at a time. Any medicine can be vanished from the stores mysteriously. Uh, medicine should be available in the proper stock so that when uh, treatment is started, I'm sure all of you know something about uh, most antibiotic need at least five days or in some cases 10 days of treatment while some medicines need to be for a very long time for example if you're treating tuberculosis then at least nine months of continuous treatment is essential to be effective otherwise if it is if the streak is broken just for one day you shall have to restart the course for the next nine months uh, this is all about the characteristics of an ideal antibiotic and ideal antimicrobial agent. All characters are not present in a single medicine. Uh, you can ask question if you have any question. Do you have any question? No, sir. Okay.